She's the main character everywhere she goes. I don't know what she's training, but you know, it looks like to me she's just training entitlement, doing 10 sets of entitlement. You dare to work out, not have a flipping photo shoot, bogging people out for paying the same as you to be in a public space is mad. I don't know where these people come from. These videos are annoying as it is, but she just amplifies it. She is really annoying. And the main man himself, Joey Swall, responded to this chick. Let's give it a watch. To this young woman, this sense of entitlement when filming at the gym has gotten out of control. For you to get upset because there's people in your video, whether in front or behind, to the point where you actually get upset at that man behind you and you tell him to move out of your video? Really? I'm sorry, but unless your name is on that gym, your filming is never a priority over other people at the gym. It is a shared space. They pay the same membership fees that you do. If you can't film responsibly, you don't belong filming at all. You need to do better. Mind your own business. Am I going to be in the fucking phone? Am I going to be in the fucking background or break no. your fucking phone? What the fuck is your issue, bro? I don't like to be in the fucking background. You're not going to be in the background. You better not be able to smash the fucking phone. Fuck off, you bitch. Fuck you. What an idiot. What this guy could have done is come over and asked her respectfully, but... He said, I don't want to be in the background, and he continues to walk into the camera shot and into the background like a dumbass. Fair play to this girl for standing up for herself. Right now, I'm just gonna take your stuff and then I'll cut it. Right. Cut the cameras. <laughs> she went to the gym for one thing only, and that was to falsely accuse someone of looking at her. But fair play to this guy, more gyms need to do this. Not only is she stupid for doing this in the first place, she's even more stupid for then uploading it thinking people would be on her side. What a dumbass. camera like 20 feet away from her workout and she's getting annoyed at someone walking by they really turn up to the gym and expect everyone to work around them as if they flipping own the place get the fuck out of here Wait, wait, wait. Did you see that at the start? The first video looks strange and the rest of the videos do look a little bit strange as well. Let's have a look at this. It is too. So if we zoom in here, the bench and the squat rack behind her is moving with her waist and glutes. I think this is like fit by scar or some shit. Absolute lies. Video shopping her body to make it look like she has bigger glutes and a smaller waist. Then she can make money off selling her glute program to you guys, to young females that don't have any idea that she's fucking using fakery on her videos. Look at that. 
Ready? You can see the bench and her glutes changing in the background. Let's go for the next rep. Oh, that one's so obvious. Ready? I'm going to go back and forth. The background is moving. It's a stationary item. Fit by Scar, you should be fucking embarrassed with yourself. You using these video shop apps to try to rip off your followers. I will literally expose it whenever I see it. I've had enough of it. It should be illegal to Photoshop your videos and photos to sell programs, make money off it. It's fucking disgusting. Funny enough, after all this, her account is now on private. What a surprise. And a lot of this goes unnoticed. I mean, if you watch that video without him pointing out what's wrong with it, we wouldn't even know. I mean, do we really know what's real and what isn't anymore? These women need to be held accountable. People need to start paying people back who have been ripped off or lock them up. This is one of the most disturbing videos that I've ever been sent. You never put your hands on or speak to somebody that way, whether you're in the gym or anywhere. Shout out to Goob. He called me last night. He sent me this video. He did such a great job handling this, that this gym fitness system immediately banned that man from their gym. So nobody has to deal with that type of bullying. And the young man that was hitting this video, Christian, spoke to him last night. Shout out to him. He stayed calm. He remained cool. He's doing great. I'm so sorry that happened to you, brother. Nobody should have to deal with that. But I'm also so happy to see all the love and support you're getting. That shows me and all of you, the gym is a brother sisterhood. We will not tolerate seeing this type of behavior in gyms. We are a community and we all have each other's back. I just wanna make one thing clear, right? If I was in the gym and some guy came up to me and slapped me on the head like that, I'd have slept that fall right there and then. And Joey's completely right. We shouldn't tolerate things like this in or out the gym for that matter. Fair play to this guy for keeping his cool because a lot of people wouldn't. Me included, probably. Time to show that I crave attention while still looking innocent. Hey guys, welcome back to another Mic'd Up Sesh. Today we are training, of course, shoulders. One second. Excuse me, sir. Um, I'm filming and you're kind of ruining my video. Do you mind? Thank you. So as I was saying, guys, so as you guys know, I have an intense cardio regime. So I just wanted to take you through it now. So guys, we're just going to be doing this 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. It's a real burner. Okay guys, so we're gonna be doing lateral raises and I want you to place a real focus on my bum, I mean my form. Okay guys, so it's always important to end your workout with a little stretch. So we're just getting into a downwards facing dog and you know, this is, oh my God, not you. You've been stalking me my entire workout. Okay, I'm just trying to film my session and not draw any attention to myself, but you, you've been feasting your eyes on me. You wait until Joey Swan finds out about this. I wasn't even looking. Well played guys, that was, very believable, very accurate. <laughs> People are mad at these two women for mocking a guy at the gym. So these two women decided to start mocking a guy warming up for a TikTok video. That video is now deleted because of this man right here who called them out for their behavior, but now they're not happy that this man made a video about them calling them out. They even decided to send them a whole paragraph, which I'm not going to go over everything. But basically, one of the girls from the video sent him this saying, take down the video because we're getting threats and people are even sending this to our partners. This is what people had to say. But what do you think? Should we get Joey Swole to make a video about this? Those two are just thinking, for once in our lives, we got to be accountable for our actions. And they're not sorry for anything. They're sorry that they got caught doing this and the backlash they're getting. But shout out to people like Sam Sulek because not everyone with a camera is an asshole, just most of them.